Estimators A and B are used to estimate parameter theta. If both estimators are unbiased, but estimator A has variance 126 inches squared, and estimator B has variance 100 inches squared, which estimator is the better choice? So the idea behind this problem is, is that um, if you have two unbiased estimators, they're both unbiased, right? So estimators A and B are used to estimate the parameter of theta. If both estimators are unbiased, so we have that information, then the deciding factor is which one has the smaller uh, variance, which one has a smaller spread or standard deviation or variance. Of course, variance and standard deviation are connected just by a square root, right? So smaller variance is the same as saying smaller standard deviation. We always want the minimum variance unbiased estimator if we can get it. So we want the minimum variance unbiased estimator. You might have seen that in your stats class. MVUE, that's the desired choice. So whenever we're choosing between two unbiased estimators, that's the first thing you look for to make sure they're unbiased. The next criteria is to see which one has the smaller variance, the minimum variance. So between these two, um, you have 126 versus 100. The 100 is the smaller, so estimator B is the preferred choice. So we'll choose B as our choice. Notice that the estimators, they're both measuring in inches, so inches squared for the variance unit, but either way, um, the smaller one is the preferred one. Um, one thing I want to mention about this is to understand the concept, unbiased means that you're sort of clustering around the target. So let's say you're shooting for the target parameter mu, right? You know, estimator A might do something like this, you know? There might be some clustering around the center, you know? And you might get a nice little, you know, graph or something that looks like that. And you might say, geez, you know, um, that's an unbiased estimator that's clustered around this target parameter mu. But B might look like this. And what you can see is that B is much tighter around the target parameter. So when it overestimates, it doesn't miss it by as much as it does when you're dealing with estimator A. So you know that sometimes it'll overestimate, sometimes it'll underestimate. When it has a minimum variance or the smaller variance, it's going to miss it by less than what will happen in the other scenario. So if this is estimator A and this is estimator B, it's easier to see the one with, the, with less spread is the preferred choice because it's clustered around the mean, that's true of all unbiased estimators, but this is more tightly clustered around the mean because it has a smaller variance. So estimator B is the preferred choice.